The reactions we've looked at so far have all been in the gas state. What if you have solids or liquids involved? Well, the concentrations of pure solids and pure liquids are not included in these equilibrium expressions because their concentrations don't change. In this example, we have calcium carbonate solid is decomposing into calcium oxide solid and carbon dioxide gas. A solid cannot change its concentration. It's either there or it isn't there. And since the concentration doesn't change, we just leave it out of the expression entirely. So for this equation, for this chemical reaction, the equilibrium expression is just the concentration of the product CO2. The coefficient here is 1, so the exponent is 1. We're not going to multiply by this one and divide by this one because their concentrations don't change. They're solids, and so we just leave them out. Let's do an example. Write an equilibrium expression. Scared me, silly computer. For this guy. So KEQ, we're going to take products over reactants. The first one is H2O liquid. That's a liquid. Its concentration doesn't change, so we don't include it in the, reaction, in the equilibrium expression. So we'll leave that one out. And here we have chlorine. That's a gas, so its concentration can change. Cl2. And what power should I raise that to? 2, because the coefficient is 2. Then I'm going to divide by the reactants. Both of these reactants are gases, so I'm going to include them. HCl has a coefficient of 4, so it's raised to the fourth power. Oxygen has a coefficient of 1, so I leave it to the first power, which I don't really need to write, so I won't. Any questions?